Hi everyone, welcome you all. So previously we have learned how to connect Python with MySQL and fetch some of the records. And what we have learned previously is, first of all, we need to connect MySQL with Python using a MySQL connector. Let's uh, see this line, import MySQL connector as SQL TOR. So this is, uh, uh, this is the line which imports MySQL connector and then I have created an object of MySQL connection so SQLTOR dot connect connect is the method which accepts host you have to specify the local host local host for your current system otherwise you can specify IP address of the whole host user then host uh, username that is wrote in my case password your password and then database whatever database you want to connect to and then you can test this connection and then we need to create a cursor which will store all the records and we can fetch one by one or multiple records at a time depending upon some of the methods provided by mysql so we are going to discover all the methods and then we need to execute a query for example select a stick from student i have uh, specified and then i have used a for loop to manipulate the data okay and here when we fetch a row from the cursor it is stored or it's written as a tuple so data is a type of a tuple and we can specify all the columns by specifying a specific column index okay so for example if i show you the data you can check it out i have three columns that is first column is the roll number then name and then class so if i specify data zero that will be roll number and if i specify data two that will be your class okay hope this is easy now coming to today's agenda point we are going to fetch these record with the help of some other method called fetch one okay so what i'm going to do i'm having already having a record you can see i have two records you roll number one and roll number two name manish and Arjun. and then what i am going to do i'm going to issue a command called cursor dot fetch one okay so what it will do it will fetch one record from the result set that is the first record and i'm going to store in my row this is a simple variable and i'm going to print this row so this will be a double again and it will give you the first row that is 1 manish 12 okay let's say let us execute this piece of a code and check it out so 1 manish 12 so if i issue another command let's say row 1 is equals to cursor dot fetch 1 again so this will do, um, uh, this will fetch the next record and if i print print uh, row 1 this will give you the next record okay mm, let's say i'm going to insert one more element one more row uh, insert into student values let's say this time three and name is let's say rahul and let's class b 11 that's perfectly fine and execute this piece of code so if you check it out this will give you two records only and then if i say r1 is equals to cursor dot fetch one this will again fetch one one more record and I, if i say uh, let's say last record because i is no i know this is the last last record and then if i print r1 this will print the last record okay right now i know that i have only three rows I'm going to create a variable and write a simple statement which fetches another record. Record. Uh, I know that it is not there. Let's see what it prints. R4 and let's check it out. It prints empty uh, double. Okay. Let's specify the type and see. Uh, so you can see. Okay. It's giving you none. So we are going to use this property and use a while loop to fetch these okay so i'm going to fetch the first record and say while 
रो नॉट इज नल ओके विटामिनट इज नॉट नल ओके टिल द टाइम वी आर गोइंग टू प्रिंट दिस रो एंड एच वन रो अगेन and let's get this get rid of all these let's mm -hmm, wait a minute let's make all these comment and let's run this program now so i'm getting error because none is not defined actually it should be in capital okay so now i can see all the records are printed with the help of patch patch one now what we need to do uh, is I need to clear the environment so I need to clear or execute one more command called mysql connection dot close this will clear the environment and uh, all the resources or connection which uh, my program is using will be released to the system and it will free up some space okay so this is another method fetch one which will fetch the current record and it returns none when it is unable to return any record okay so it is easy to understand it fetches one record now what if i want to fetch four records at a time okay or two records at a time so there is a, another method now let's say this time rows is equals to cursor dot let's say uh, fetch many and i need to specify the size this time it is two and let's print this two okay so now you can see i'm having a list of two so if i want to traverse it i can easily traverse it traverse it with the help of uh, loop rows and let's print this row and now you can check it out i am able to fetch from the list okay so you can use fetch mini and specify the value okay now there is one more command that can help you the, um, if you try to print uh, cursor and want to print how many rows you have fetched it till now so what you can do is uh, use a row count variable and then see row fetched till now okay so this will give you the count of row fetched so you can check it out i have fetched two rows okay and if i fetch one more record let's say cursor dot fetch one and now you will see three instead of one so this will tell you how many records you have fetched from the result set okay now the last method is you can use rows is equals to uh, cursor dot fetch all Okay, this will fetch all the records from the result set and store in row. Let's make it plural, plural and print this row. Okay, so you can see all the records will be fetched in as a form of, in the form of a uh, list, and you can use uh, the same approach uh, for let's say i in rows and print the i. Okay, so you can see. And if you want to uh, if you want to print a specific column you can either use this one you can specify here let's say name name that's perfectly fine and see only name will be displayed okay so you can customize your query uh, as usual and if you specify a break clause it still works so roll number is equals to let's say i think three it's what it is it's Rahul okay so you can check it out so uh, this is all for the day what we have learned today is first of all we can execute the query any query which we want by using cursor dot execute method and then we can fetch one record or 
n number of records based on b certain functions that is fetch one will fetch only one record and fetch many and you have to specify the number of rows you want to fetch and then it will uh, fetch n number of records okay and there is another function called fetch all which fetches all the records from the result set and stores in a variable in a form of a list and you can manipulate that list according to your plans uh, by using for loop by loop or using recursion whatever okay so this is all for the day and next day we are going to use parameterized query okay so bye bye and have a nice day